So here on my channel, I've talked plenty about body shapes, but what about foot shapes? While clothing is important, finding the best shoes to go with them is equally as important, but let's be honest, it's even more challenging. Just like with clothes, not all shoes are going to fit everyone equally, so knowing how to choose the best one for your foot is going to be key to keeping them in your wardrobe long term. So if you want to learn how to find the most comfortable and stylish shoes for your foot shape, make sure to keep on watching and watch them till the end for a very special surprise. Hey there! For those of you who don't already know me, I'm Bella, a certified image consultant and fashion enthusiast. And welcome to my channel, Concept3, where I help you transform your wardrobe, your image, and your lifestyle. In today's video, I will be helping you choose the most comfortable and stylish shoe based on your foot type. If you want to avoid wasting time, money, and pain, then I really recommend watching this video all the way through because I'm gonna give you some really amazing suggestions based on how your foot is made. So this being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. One of the main challenges that I face when shopping for shoes, especially online, is not knowing what style is going to be comfortable. Of course, everything can look cute, but it's very important to get shoes that are going to fit your foot properly. And this problem has finally been solved by this amazing brand. So I'd like to take a moment and thank the sponsor for today's video, which is Vivaya. Vivaya is a chic footwear brand focused on creating both stylish and sustainable footwear that is eco-friendly and sustainable, creating a positive impact on both the world and the people around it. They offer luxurious and fashion-forward footwear and apparel with exceptional quality at a fair price. All of the products are made using recycled materials and 3D technology, utilizing a zero-waste process to create a seamless 3D knitted design for the ultimate combination of comfort and function. And not to mention the packaging is equally as sustainable, created using 100% recycled cardboard. You can shop their looks on their website with the link down below in the description. And in addition, I have a discount code for 15% off their shoes on the website. And also, if you want to follow them on Instagram to see what their latest styles are, then make sure to follow them at Vivaya underscore official to see more. This being said, let's go ahead and get back into the video so I can show you your best shoe styles. Two. So the four things that you need to look out for when finding the most comfortable shoe for your foot shape is size, foot shape, width, and arch. So we're gonna go ahead and get started by talking about size, because size matters, let's be honest. Make sure that you really just measure your feet well, that you either go to a professional at a shoe store where they have the little foot measuring machines, I don't know what they're called, or you can do it at home with a ruler and paper, but just really make sure that you are getting the right size. And not to mention, there are different sizes for different countries. So here in the US, we go by numbers from like, I guess five to 10. And then in Europe, for example, they, they have sizes in the 30s, like 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So that's also a really important part of buying shoes, especially if you're going to buy shoes from another country or shoes that only run in like a European size. And for my fellow people who have a Egyptian foot with the second toe being the longest, this means you're going to have to get about a half a size bigger because you need to give your second toe that's longer and awkward and out there just a little bit more space. So when thinking about shoe size, really just keep this in mind. We're gonna go ahead and start with the basis, which are the five main foot shapes. So you have an Egyptian, Roman, Greek, Germanic, and square foot. So every single person is put under one of these categories. I happen to be a Greek foot. Like I said before, my second toe is longer than my first. Just keep these things in mind when shopping for shoes. It doesn't mean you can't buy them or wear them. It just means you need to take a break from walking and really listen to your feet because we only get one pair. 
Next, moving on to width. This is something that I feel like a lot of shoe companies don't really offer anymore. I feel like it was more popular back in the day. And you have three main foot widths, which are narrow, medium, and wide. And most people tend to fall under medium, so that's what most manufacturers make as a result. And for me, it's really easy to tell if you're a wide, if you have a wide foot, because most shoes that you wear are uncomfortable and they feel a little bit too narrow. Whereas if your foot is very narrow, then a lot of the shoes that you wear, you find yourself having a lot of space like on the side of your foot. You know, do your research online and you can figure out what shoe is going to be great for your foot size or your foot width in this case. And now lastly, we're going to talk about arch because this is also something that is integral for the health of your foot and for preserving your feet long term. So you have three different arches. You have a low, medium, and a high arch, and you fall underneath one of these categories based on how high the arch of your foot comes off the ground. So in my case, I have a medium arch, meaning I don't have a very flat foot and I don't have a foot with a lot of arch going on. So in my case, I don't always need to have support, but it's always better to have a bit of support if you have that gap. And the rule of thumb really goes that the higher your arches, the more support you're going to need from your shoe. You're going to have to either pick a brand like Vivaya, who offers very customized shoes. They even have a quiz online that you can go and see your foot shape and what type of arch or you just go ahead and buy your own insoles that are molded to your specific foot shape or ones that you buy from a store and then you can put them in whatever shoe that you're wearing. My people with super high arches, pay attention and make sure you are taking care of your feet on top of being stylish. Now that we've learned the four key things to look for when buying shoes, which is foot size, foot shape, width, and arch. Let's go ahead and take a look at the really cute and amazing shoes that Bavaya sent me, and I'm going to give you some tips on whether these shoes would work for you and why I chose them for myself. So the first pair of shoes we have here are the Jade Sandals in the color Lavender. These are square-toed sandals, and they are made from skin-friendly yarn uppers and ultra-soft, comfortable insoles you'll feel like you're almost stepping on a cloud. The Jade's architectural he heel is perfect for summer outings or even to wear to work. The detailed texture on the upper half of the shoe creates a very elegant look and they are perfectly matched with jeans and dresses. Choose comfort, but also think about style and what is bearable and what's not. And the second shoe I chose was something really funky and something different that I've actually never seen before. And this is a very fun ballerina flat. This is the Pointed Toe Ballerina Flat Aria 5. So these are basically flats that feel like sneakers. Walks like a sneaker, fits like a sock, and looks elegant like traditional leather flats. And these flats are extremely interesting because they are made from a natural herbal insole and they provide superb arch and forefront support. The checkered pattern is one of the newest additions to their line. It's trendy and elegant, combining style, sustainability, and the comfort of a sneaker. If your closet is lacking a beautiful, comfortable, functional, stylish pair of flats, and these are definitely um, I guess a model that you should try out. There's different prints, there's different colors, so whatever your taste is, I'm sure there's something for you as well. Um, but I'm curious to know about your feet, not in a creepy way, but just in like a casual, like, oh, what's your foot shape? Um, so go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And um, if you have any questions, let me know down there as well. And once again, all the um, discount codes will be down in the description below along with a link to the website. This being said, if you liked the video, make sure to go ahead and click that like button so that it reaches other people and helps them as well. And if you're not already part of the family here at Concept3, make sure to click the subscribe button and then also click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I make videos weekly on fashion, image, and transformation and I would absolutely love to have you here and don't want you to miss a single thing so this being said thank you so much for watching and as always stay safe stay smart and stay leveled up I will see you in my next video bye